Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing Shiny's comeback song, first comeback in like what, a year and a half? Shiny's very long awaited comeback song, Sherlock, which is two other songs called Clue and Note put together to form Sherlock. Yeah, the Sherlock album actually came out before this music video, so I'd already heard the song, I'd already been listening to the song, and uh, as you probably know, the teaser was out, so we had a good idea of what the video would be like in terms of its concept. The whole concept and storyline of the video is that Shiny are, like, I guess, detectives, and they get a letter or they get a call or something, and they are hired to go to this museum and find some missing jewels that belong to one of the statues. So of course they head out to the museum, and then they're just walking all over the museum looking for this, these jewels, examining everything with their flashlights and taking pictures and all this, all, all the stuff good detectives do. And while they're doing their wonderful investigating, um, Jessica, freaking baby, just shows up behind one of the members and you know, just walks by and then when he turns around, she's gone. She gone. She's gone. She freaking vanished. She's a freaking ghost. And this happens numerous times. Every member spots Jessica at least once in the video, and then she disappears. But she usually drops a little clue that ends up leading them to find the jewelry. And when they see the ghost of Jessica, it, I was very surprised by how little of an expression any of them had. I remember when Taman saw her, he just he was just like, just a little smile. At least Minho took a picture, was smart enough to do something, but the rest of the members just, you know, look and like, oh, there's a ghost of Jessica. Like, like they don't even, like, have an expression, they don't, it's like they just continue on with their day. It's like, I don't know if they just get help from ghosts regularly, I don't know if this is something Shiny's used to, but, um, uh, that, that's not how I would react if I saw a ghost of Jessica, that is for sure. And then when Shiny the detectives finally put together all the clues that ghost of Jessica left for them, it leads them to this painting, and they push the wall, and the painting was actually like a, a secret door that led to the, um, the missing jewel. And that was how they, like, saved the day, and then they were in the newspaper the next day, because they found the jewels. They solved the case, and they're, they're in the newspaper, they look happy at the end, but then they get Minho's picture of the girl, and I guess they look up online this girl, or maybe they look Google the jewel that they found or something. They find out that that was the ghost of Jessica's jewel, and I guess I guess she just wanted it back. So she's like, okay, here it's behind this door. Please put it back on me. And then their reaction after that was very like weird too. They were like, they were all surprised and scared. Like I would have been like that when I saw the ghost of Jessica. The storyline itself doesn't really need it to be continued. Just the music at the end and their expressions made it seem like there was gonna be a continuing, but I don't think there is, because it, it wrapped up, you know? You know, they solved the case! Shiny is one of the best dancing groups, in my opinion, so obviously there was not just a storyline in this video, there was lots of dancing. The dancing sets were actually in that museum with all of the statues moved out of the way so that they could, you know, dance. And then the street at night, there was also a dance scene in there. I was reading the comment section of the actual video, and a lot of people were like torn on if they liked the dance or not. I freaking loved it. I, like, I, there wasn't a dance I didn't like. There wasn't an element of, of any of it that I didn't like. I, like everything was freaking... it was great. I love how Shiny kind of like moved as one in this dance. Like there was so many dance moves that kind of connected from every member. Like that one, like there was a laser beam in, this, in the background and they went Pew! and that one where they started slow walking. And the one where John Hyun is in the middle and they all like, I don't know. Like there were just so many moves that they moved like together and it looked really, really cool. I also really liked when Minho jumped. That was great. There was also a bit of snapping. So overall, there wasn't anything I didn't like about the dance. The dance was freaking amazing to me. The song for this music video, like I said earlier, Sherlock, is actually two songs on this album put together, um, Note and Clue. If you listen to Note, the song Note, it's gonna have the exact same ending and chorus as Sherlock. Like, Sherlock isn't its own song. And I'm thinking maybe they did this because Note itself is actually really, really short of a song. It's like two minutes and like 40 or some seconds. So maybe they had to add in that 
verse. And I think there's some rapping from Clue as well to make it longer. Uh, but I think they did a really good job. Whoever mixed, produced the songs, I think did a really good job of mixing it and making it seem like Sherlock is its own song. The only part that I didn't really think f uh, flowed very well as like a transition into the next song was the first verse of Clue transitioning into uh, notes chorus. If you're not listening with headphones, you probably wouldn't even tell. Although the actual singing like really went together, just like the background music kind of just like, oh, like it just instantly changed. So um, that was the only kind of iffy part for me. But other than that one part, I think Sherlock is a really great song. And I think Note is a really great song. I don't really like Clue on its own, but a song, it's on my freaking shower playlist. Like, it takes a pretty good song to freaking go on that. So overall, I really like the song, I really like the video, I really like my baby Jessica in the video. But I don't really think it's fair for me to just tell you that I really like this video. I really wanted to show you what some real showels, like I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's just how it's spelled, showels, shiny fans. I want to show you some real, really dedicated shiny fans, what they thought of the music video. Roll clip. <laughs> Shiny's back! Shiny's back! Shiny's back! Shiny's back. <laughs> Wait, so so did you like it? <laughs> I don't understand. Do you like the video? I, 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 I really, I really, I really, really liked it. <laughs> you don't think there was anything wrong with it? Seeing that dog's butt and balls. <laughs> that was unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. Those, those balls were distracting. <laughs> But overall, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 because, like I said, just that weird transition from the from Clue into Note for the first time just bugs me every time I hear it. You, some, some of you probably haven't even noticed. Um, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm the only one that's gonna notice. And yeah, I'm really pleased with Shiny's comeback. There it really isn't anything to complain about. The album is another story. There's there's a few songs I don't like on the album. Well, not a few, a couple, two. There's two songs I don't like on the album. I asked you guys on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr to tell me what you thought. Um, on Facebook, you guys ended up giving it a 9 out of 10, so same as me. A lot of you agreed that the choreography is really, really cool, and a lot of you agreed that Jessica being in it is really, really cool. A really interesting uh, comment I got on Twitter about the song and video is from K-pop Loverholic. Um, they say, not sure if other people think this too, but I feel that the music video doesn't really match the pizzazz of, that the song has. And I kind of, like, I kind of have to Agree. I think the dance really matches the song, but kind of the music video itself in terms of the sets and stuff don't really match the song. Um, I haven't looked up the lyrics, so maybe it fits the lyrics perfect, like the English, English translations, I haven't looked those up. So maybe it fits the actual lyrics of the song perfectly, but I feel like the, the, the sound of the song doesn't like perfectly match the set. I feel like there should be bright explosions in the background and a bunch of bright colors and stuff. That's what I f like feel like I would be seeing when I hear this song. Um, so I do have to agree with you on that. SikaX2 on Tumblr said, What the frig is up with the hippie concept? So if you guys didn't notice, um, during the story elements of the music video, they're wearing completely like detective clothes, like really cool detective type clothing like in suits and stuff and hats and glasses. But when it comes to the actual dance sequences, they're in complete shiny style with like the random colors and like Key's weird shorts with like legging tight things underneath um, and Taman's long hair. So the dancing outfits don't match the concept of the video or the song. Well, maybe they do fit the song a little bit in terms of the sound, but they don't fit the set or the concept of the video at all, and that is kind of just a random thing. But I actually didn't mind it because I kind of like how, even though they went with all this detective concept in terms of the story, I kind of liked how they just threw that shiny style in there because, like, we don't freaking care, we're shiny. Because if you've noticed, like, when they do the stage outfits, I'm sure they will go back to the shiny outfits. Like, they're just... Their style is shiny, and whether you love it or not, they're freaking shiny, so they're, they're gonna dress like that. Meg Nogging on Tumblr said, It was well worth the wait, smiley face. I have to freaking agree, that pretty much sums up what I feel about this music video and song. It was worth the wait. It was a really long wait, but this is a really great music video that I've, I think I've seen it like 
five or six times now. It's really great and freaking Jessica's in it. All right, like I said, I give it a nine out of 10. You guys also gave it a nine out of 10 on the poll that I asked. Um, so go ahead and leave me in the comments of this video. What do you give it in a score? Do you like the album? I like, I don't like the album as much as I like this song in particular, but I really like Honestly on the album. That's, those are like the only two songs that I like, Sherlock, Clue, well I guess Clue and Sherlock, same thing. Um, and honestly, I really, really like those songs. But the other ones, like, not, no, not that much. Tell me what you thought in the comments below, and should give me a thumbs up, please? Um, and I will see you guys next time. Um, there's going to be a K-pop month in review very soon, and also an Ask Dylan that has been like two weeks since I put one up. That's also coming soon. Um, I will see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye!